hair journey's been a bit crazy. Like, I've just been in hat season for the past, like, four years. Yeah, I'm really excited about today so that I can get a restored hairline. I feel like, yeah, I've missed it. I haven't had a decent fade in a long time, so excited to see what I look like. <laughs> like, there is a, there's a real art to a fade, like, a good barber that fades it nicely, that's, that's artistry at work, for sure. Yeah, when I, when I have a haircut, I feel like I go from like a 6 out of 10 to a 9 and a half out of 10, so... Um, <laughs> no, it's just, it's, it's a good feeling, it's... Like, you go out feeling like Superman, it usually only lasts like a couple of weeks, but... You feel the man as soon as you've had a fresh drink. You guys are changing lives, man. <laughs> Matt. Hello and welcome to Black Economics TV. We have a special guest with us. He's in the hair business and I'm going to ask him to introduce himself. Hi, good morning. My name is Cyril Yarifor. I'm co-founder and CEO of New Faith. We're a hairless company <clears throat> and we provide solutions to men who are suffering with hair loss. Okay. Yeah. So basically men who are bald you can uh, do a transformation that enables them not to be bald anymore, at least for a period of time. Basically, basically, in a nutshell. Okay, now in the introduction, you would have seen some of the videos in terms of how they transform men's hair, and uh, it's quite innovative. So I want to talk to Cyril a little bit more about the business and about himself. So, Cyril, tell us about your background, your education, and your early career. Background, so... Before you got into this men's hair business. Before I got into hair, so before we started New Fade, um, I'm a qualified pharmacist, so it's not something I've given up. I still work um, occasionally as a pharmacist, but the majority of my time is now spent building and developing New Fade. But I have been qualified for the last five years. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So basically you work with other pharmacists as and when you you get a gig. So I work with different healthcare professionals, work with doctors, pharmacists, nurses. Mm -hmm. um, it all depends on where I'm working on the day. So if I'm working in hospital, I'll be in much closer contact with the doctors and nurses and from work in the community <clears throat> and usually I would be on my own or with another pharmacist mm. and a team of dispensers and healthcare assistants. Well well done on your qualification to be a <clears throat> pharmacist that's fantastic. Thank you very much. You'll never be out of work or when you're ready to start your own pharmacy I'm sure you'll never be out of customers that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's, that was the whole idea. Oh, that was part of the reason why I got into healthcare yeah. in the first place. It was just something that I can always go into. And it was something that I've always been particularly interested in. Um, I think the human body is, is something I've, that's always fascinated me. Mm -hmm. um, and being able to provide solutions in the form of medicine to people who ill health, just, yeah. It just caught my attention and I thought, let me go for it. It was brilliant because you know health secrets that the 99.9% .9 of the population do not know. So well done. When did you get into the hair business? So we launched New Fade in 2019 and we've been growing ever since. Ever okay. since 2019, yeah. So tell me, what does New <clears throat> Fade do? So... The vision of New Fade is to be a global digital hair loss clinic and we provide, where we provide solutions to men um, suffering with hair loss across its entire entirety. So from early stage hair loss to late stage hair loss, the idea is that we would have a solution for any man who is suffering with hair loss. But for the time being, we've started out with providing solutions for late stage hair loss. So guys for whom medication is no longer appropriate and there is little to no hope with transplants. Um, we're providing solutions to them in the form of uh, man weave or hair unit. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 
Is this for black men or for any men? We started out with black men because obviously we're black. Um, and the, my CEO and co-founder of the family of the of the family of the company, he he's the reason we started the company because he was he started suffering with um, hair loss when he was about seventeen, eighteen. Oh wow! Um, yeah, he tried a number of solutions and none of them worked for him. And he came across he came across this in America. I couldn't find anywhere that was doing it in the UK specifically for black men and he called me up saying so oh, this i think we can actually make something here and that's how it started so he was he was the first he was the first non-paying new fed client well of course that. he started the company <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. i remember I, I remember i remember it was a saturday night and i was in his bedroom with the hair and everything just had to shave it down myself i tried to give him a, a fade but it just didn't work because i'm not i'm not a trained barber Mm, mm. okay that's yeah. interesting so do you actually do some of the treatment yourself or are you more on the sort of marketing and management side i mean no i don't the, the plan was never to do that the plan was always to employ people to do that so we oh. are now in a position where we don't get involved in sort of the manual part of the business in terms of installing on hair and customers and cutting and all that stuff no we don't We've got a team of really talented barbers who oh, take wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. So when you uh, saw the technology in America, did you make connections with the people over there who were doing it? So we, what we did was we, un- we underwent a training program just to familiarize ourselves with what the techniques were that were involved in the whole process, um, the materials that were required. So we've actually got certification for this. Oh, um, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I need to find it somewhere, somewhere. I just look for did it. Did you go actually. over to America yeah. for it or did you do it virtually? No, they didn't have, I, we didn't have to go over to America. Um, okay. It, the initial training was done virtually. Ever, since then, there's been further... Um, further development for weeks yeah, yeah. over there but the first initial sort of like training is uh, virtual okay wow well done and i'm sure the 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 company that you you trained with i'm sure they're happy to have you know see the development of you know their technology uh, another in another part of the world in the uk and i know it's going to be big here have you um, or have they patented the tech, the technology? I mean, they might have patented it over there. Have you patented it here? I mean, it's something that's been going on for years. It's not, it's not a novel technology. Hair two pairs or things are things that men have used for yes, for eons true. now. Yeah, that's so true. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, really. and that's been mainly white men, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Understood. So are you training others how to use this technology here in the UK now? So at the moment, the focus is on building our new fair team. So yes, we are training people who are coming to work with and work for new fair. Um, as we expand the business, we will train more and more people. Okay. Yeah. Now you have a, a studio in Bermondsey. Yes, we do. Okay, brilliant. Are you planning to have other studios <coughs> across the country? Uh, the plan is to make, as I said earlier on, the plan is to make New Fade a uh, global hair loss clinic. So not just in other parts of the country, but other parts of the world. Oh, but wow. That's exciting. You've got, you've got to take uh, baby steps. You can't oh. run before you, you, you walk. Yes, so, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Okay. So the actual treatment, how long does it take to do it? From the time the, the, the man sits in the chair to the time it's finished, how long does it take? That depends on what type of service they're getting. Um, we have predominantly two main types of um, services that we offer. One's for just guys with, for guys with receding hairlines and one's for guys who have um, hair loss more... Um, <clears throat> one of the ones for guys who have a more general hair loss around the crown of their hair, so they're a lot more bald than mm. just guys with the receding hairline. Uh, receding hairline 
treatments would typically take no more than an hour, 20 minutes, hour 30 tops. Mm -hmm. And and for much larger areas, it will take up to about an hour and 45 minutes. Two hours the first time around when you come in because um, usually the barber would have to ask you a few more questions just to get to know you as a person and exactly what the gentleman wants um, on the day before starting the process. But generally speaking, hour and a half to two hours. Okay. And how long does the treatment last? Is it a week, a month, six months? So we we recommend that the hair units aren't kept on your scalp for any more than four weeks. Um, and in each package that we've got, we provide a free maintenance service. So that gives you an opportunity to take off the unit at home, give your scalp a wash, come back into the studio, and we would reinstall the unit for you and give you a fresh haircut. We've tried to mirror the service to mimic the typical life cycle of your average man who goes to the barber. So most guys go to get a trim every two to three weeks. And that's how we've sort of built the business. And um, we've, we've tried to mirror that for men. So they, they, they don't miss out. So guys who've missed out for years on going to the barbers can get that part of their life back in terms of going to the barbers every few weeks. Do you find your clientele is uh, younger or older, or do you have a mix of both? It's a mix of both. It's actually a yeah? mix of both. Um, yeah, surprisingly, it's a mix of both. We have, we've had guys, we've had people as young as like 16 message us wanting to come in. Um, for I think actually, I think the youngest person was 15. Really? His mother, yeah, his mother got in touch with us actually. Um, um, but I think with that particular person, we had to say no just because they were too young, in our opinion. Um, and we've had men as old as I think, how was he, like 60, 65? Mm. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a mixture of ages. That's a range. I'm trying to imagine a, a 65 year old who's probably been bald for maybe 20 years coming in and then walking out with a complete new lease of life because you know, because you know what it is. You know what it is. It's and I think this is the thing that the general public and people in general don't understand about men when it comes to their hair and losing their hair. Um the general consensus is that when a man loses his hair, he should just shave it off and go bald. He should accept it. Um, the thing is, for men, hair is a way of expressing themselves. Um, people might not realize this, but um, I mean, we don't usually make, we, most men don't wear makeup. Yeah. Um, most men don't even have a skincare routine. Well, that's so, changing though, I've got to say. It's changing. Like, and, and this is the thing, and this is one of the things that's helped that's helping our business grow. Um, that's all changing, true. Uh, but the vast majority of men don't have these things. So a haircut is one of the only, aside from dressing well and getting good clothes, a nice haircut is one of the only ways that they get to actually sort of improve their aesthetics. So you go to the gym, you train, but also you get a really nice looking haircut. So when you take that away from from a man, you you take something a little bit, a bit away from him. And we are trying to give guys give, give that back to guys that that thing that they've lost, that ability to express themselves through their different hairstyles. Um, it's something that we're giving back to the guys. I tell you what, there must be a lot of men's coming coming out of your studio with big smiles on their faces because they know their lives are transformed. Huh? Yeah, definitely, oh, definitely, definitely. Um, I mean, we 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 one of the emphasis in the company is style as well. Um, so we've got a range of styles for guys to choose from. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then when they go back to, to see their family and friends and their family and friends will be like, you know, is this you? Because I've got to say, the pictures that you have on your Instagram, the guys look 10, 20 years younger once they've yeah. had the, the treatment. It's just amazing how transformative mm-hmm. it is. Mm-hmm. 
So well done. You're bringing the, you're bringing a bit of happiness to many people. Yeah. So tell me, how are you marketing your business? Are you ensuring that, you know, the, the whole population of black men in the UK know about you? How are you doing that? So, I mean, um, like any other business, we run... To, uh, one second. <clears throat> oh, my throat hurts, man. Yeah. Um, so we we run we run ads on Facebook and Instagram, like oh. most like most businesses will yes. do these days. Um, word of mouth marketing has been really helpful as well and really pivotal. And um, we've also had features in BBC, Forbes. So all of that social proofing has really really helped with growing growing the business. Yeah, Forbes. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, and BBC. Had, yeah, we had a, a feature with BBC was last year, I think around September. Um, that was really that 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 would really that was really good. That really helped us. It really, really um, gave us um, some of the social proof in that has helped us sort of grow our numbers over the last last six to eight months. Yeah, I think I came across you guys on Instagram, but somebody else had posted about what you were doing. Yeah. And then, I, you know, as you do, you drill down to see who the business is, and then I found yeah. you. Yeah, so um, it's great when other people can talk about you and spread the yeah. word. And yeah. um, we'll certainly be doing the same for you as well. Thank so you. as an entrepreneur, do you have other business interests? Of course. Um, Ideas are always going to come. Um, I mean, there are times when um, you're sleeping and an idea just comes and you want to work on it now. But uh, I think my sort of philosophy is in it, it, sh it should be one thing at a time. Start one thing, see it as far as you, as you possibly can before jumping onto the next one. Because otherwise you just end up being a jack of all trades and master of none and not really accomplishing anything so wise uh, words yeah wise words yeah okay how would but, you encourage others to follow your follow their dream um get out of bed <laughs> early get out of bed. you can be a dreamer but don't live in your bed um yeah but but definitely i say it's it's a, what one of the things that I've found um, most useful and helpful is working with two co-founders who are equally, if not more, driven than I am, um, who are highly intelligent um, and established in their own strengths. Um, and three of us working together has been a real blessing for the company and really pushing the company forward. Um, so if if you have any if you have any ideas any dreams definitely don't be afraid to step out and take a risk um it is easier if you do it with someone or people than if you try to do it on your own mm. um just find it's important that you find people who you can trust who, who and people who can believe in believe in you um, when Joel spoke to me about this, he came. He came to me because he knew that you know what, I'm always down for. Uh, I'm down to explore ideas and try and see things through. Um, and same with Moses as well. So that's why I'm just why the three of us work well together. Hmm. What are the professions of your other two partners, business partners? Uh, they're both medical doctors. They're both doctors, okay. Yeah, they're both medical, so we're, we're, we're a team of healthcare professionals. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, you've definitely got the brain power behind you. You've got the drive. You'll be taking this to the moon and back, and then you'll be setting up other things. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the hope and dream. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Oh, I will we'll be watching this space because, you know, we, we're expecting you to, you know, take the world by storm, really. So well done with what you've done. Thank you and, very uh, much. Thank please you very much. continue with your growth, continue with your marketing. And we'll, 
we'll do what we can from our end. Thank you very much. Now I really appreciate you having me on today. I know it's been difficult um, to try and get a time that works for both of us, but I'm glad that we could finally have this this session. Well, you know, you're, you're, you're super busy and I can understand why, you know, and as your business doubles and trebles, you know, uh, I'm probably not going to be able to uh, get a peep to say hi, you know, you're going to be too busy to talk to me. You got me on WhatsApp. You got me on WhatsApp. <laughs> you can always drop me a message on WhatsApp. All right, then. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, thank you, Dawn. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Cyril. You take care and say hi to your business partners. I will. I will. Tell them well done. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye. My name is Malcolm McCarthy, and I'm a musician and a songwriter based in London. I think it's quite exciting for me. It's really got to be a new look, fresh look. Oh, I tried it first, and then I was looking at the hair but they're super expensive and not always super safe. Faye just feels like waking up in Morocco on the beach and you dip your toe into the water. That's what Faye is to me. Wow, snap, young man. <laughs> Guys, you smashed it.